this is the guide for tracheostomy care procedure for nursing 2210. Perform hand hygiene. Gather your equipment. You need a tracheostomy care kit, a bottle of hydrogen peroxide, a bottle of sterile saline or water, a clean towel or drape, a new tracheostomy tube holder, mask with eyewear, clean gloves. Assess your client to determine the need for suctioning prior to beginning the procedure. Make sure your patient is in Simi Fowler's position. Explain the procedure and establish means of communication. Mr. Brown, my name is Annette Rigby. I'm going to be your nurse today. Right now I'm going to perform trach care on your trach. If at any time during the procedure you become uncomfortable or experience any discomfort, I need you to raise your hand for me like this. Place your clean towel or drape on the client's chest to protect his clothing. And you may want to go ahead and put your pair of clean gloves on the towel so that you won't forget to use those later in the procedure. Loosen the couch on, on the peroxide and sterile saline or water. Open your tracheostomy care kit. of sterile gloves from the kit and lay them to the side for now. Remove the sterile drape from the kit and place on the table. Empty the contents of the tray kit onto your sterile drape. Pour your solutions into the tray, into the largest area of the tray. Pour one half hydrogen peroxide and one half sterile water or saline. Saline, making sure that you lift your solutions if the bottles have been previously opened. So in the one large container, I'm going to place half hydrogen peroxide and half normal saline. containers will be just normal saline. Be careful as you pour the solution so that you do not go over your sterile field, either the drape or the container of fluid with the unsterile bottles. Put on your mask and eyewear. Put on your clean gloves. Use the Ambu bag to hyperoxygenate your client for one to three minutes, just like you did in the 
trait sectioning procedure. it in a biohazard bag. With two hands, hold the outer portion of the tracheostomy tube secured and twist to remove the inner cannula. And place the inner cannula in the solution that is your half-strength peroxide and half-strength saline. Remove the old gloves. Put on your sterile gloves. Separate your sterile supplies on the sterile drape. You will find a split dressing, several 4x4s, a small wire brush, and some Q-tips. Use the brush to clean the inside and outside of the inner cannula. When you pick up the inner cannula, make sure you pick it up by the lock end, which is the outside, the area of the inner cannula that is on the outside of the client. And I'm going to make sure that I stay over this one container so that any debris falls into this one container. Place the inner cannula in one of the portions of sterile water and saline to rinse. Pick the inner cannula up and tap to remove excess fluid. Hold the outer cannula and reinsert the inner cannula into the outer portion of the tube and lock in place. Now we're going to clean the external portion of the tracheostomy tube and then we're going to clean around the stoma. Moisten your 4x4s with sterile solution from the area that has not been used yet in the tray. And clean in single sweeps the outer portion of the tracheostomy tube. a 4x4 four four to also, after you through cleaning, to dry the outer portion of that tube. Pick up your cotton swabs and dip those in the same 
sterile saline that you just used to clean the outer portion with. And those swabs will go up underneath the tracheostomy tube directly around the opening in the neck through which the tube is inserted. That opening is known as the stoma. Once you've cleaned, you may dry the stoma with either extra cotton swabs or with a 4x4. Now you're ready to apply the new tracheostomy holder. You must put on the new one before taking off the old one. A line strap under the client's neck. Place the narrow end of the tie under and through the face plate eyelet on each side. Pull the ends even and secure with Velcro. Ensure that there is space for one finger width under the neck strap. Remove the old tracheostomy holder. Apply the split dressing around the stoma. Place the trach collar. Assess the client's oxygenation and respiratory status. Suction if you need to. Dispose of all used equipment in the biohazard bag. Remove mask and eyewear. Perform hand hygiene. Ensure that your patient is safe and in no distress. Document the procedure.